Hey guys, this is Mel Turkle from Kifara. Today I want to do a quick video on our field chair. Just give you some tips on the field chair. Uh, the, the advantages of the field chair is you can use it away from your ruck or wherever you want in camp. Uh, it's like nine ounces. As you can see here, a field chair, no matter what pack you have or how full you have it, there's always room to shove a field chair into the pack or strap it to the ruck somehow. Uh, we're selling a lot more of these now because uh, we've discontinued the cargo chair as most guys are buying cargo panels now. Uh, so let me just show you how to, some tips on this field chair real quick and how it works. You can see you just untie it. It's very simple. Just 1000D Cordura and it's got adjustable legs right here. The legs come out, they're three, you can adjust them in, in uh, three, three positions. Let me just hook her up here. As you can see, three spots for three different lengths. Now, the way you want to do a field chair is you want to, you want to cross the legs. You don't want to keep them like this. You want to cross the legs and then just throw it down just like that. And now, the easiest way is I tell guys, get in front of the TV at night when you get your field chair, spend about 15 minutes just messing with it and it'll be real easy. Basically, you sit on the field chair because your body tensions uh, the Cordura and what you want to do is grab the legs like this with your hands, come up like this, and now you can go, you have 360 degree movement on these legs. I can go out, forward, back, whatever. So you just get it like this until you got a nice chair just like this. You can sit here, you can glass if you're hunting. Uh, another advantage of the field chair too is if you want to just take a nap or just relax a little bit, you don't want to get up and untension. All you do is just slide down. You, as you see, I can slide down right to here, head rest right in here, and I literally can go to sleep just like this and just take a nap. Now, on the field chair, let me show you a couple other tips. I can run the poles all the way back in, crisscross them, of course. Now I can set them, set them up like this, kind of. Now I can take a little nap like this, just by here, as you can see, I can just with my hand, I'm just Kind of messing around with the poles here just to get the right tension. Now I can relax just like having a pillow. My head's out of the dirt. As you can see, my hand's right under here, and I, I can just go to sleep like this. If you're a belly sleeper, again, I just go like this. <laughs> hey, you get out of here. I can just go like this. Again, hand under here, just like having a, a pillow. I can just totally relax just like this. Now, another way you can work the field chair is I run the legs all the way back out again. Now, some guys miss the, having the, field, uh, the cargo chair with the ruck so they can, do, they can lean against their pack. But you still can, you still can with a field chair. But here's a, here's a loaded MMR right here. I'll set the MMR right on here, about like that. Field chair, I'll set right to the back of the MMR just like that. Now as you can see, MMR is fully supported. I come in, sit on the front of the field chair against the MMR. Again, I'm glassing, I'm relaxing for the guys that like to have their ruck with them. Or if you got a strong cold wind against your back, you can get in front of your pack now, protect it from the wind, and just glassing away or relaxing with the field chair with the uh, ruck. There it is, just sits by itself. So uh, that's about it for the field chair, guys. Hope these couple little tips helped out. We'll talk to you later.